An update now on the crash that killed six people, including three former University of Houston football players over the weekend. It happened early Saturday morning downtown Houston. Investigators say another driver ran a red light and hit the car the former U of H football players were riding in. DJ Hayden, Zach McMillan, and Ralph Oregu were among those killed. At last check, two people are still in the hospital, including former U of H football player Jeffrey Lewis. What a tragic loss. DJ Hayden was a defensive backs coach at Second Baptist School this morning. The head coach of Second Baptist football team, Beck Bryden, joins us. Welcome to you, along with J.D. Crisp, a senior defensive back on the team. Welcome to Houston's Morning Show. First, I just have to tell you how very sorry we are for your loss. This is so terrible for anyone to have to go through, certainly a team. I know that school hasn't been back in session since the loss. Have you been able to see through social media or hear from everybody how everyone's handling this so far? Yeah, we uh, we met as a team Saturday morning. Oh, you for did. Our, we did for our normal routine okay. workout after a game. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, weren't expecting to have that news yes. shared at that point. So, we we pivoted and and um, you know made it about you know loving on each other and talking to mm -hmm. each other and reading scripture together and praying and um, you know the the workout went out the window and mm -hmm. it just became a time of fellowship. Um, and then I checked in with uh, all the defensive backs Saturday afternoon. I know our defensive coordinator did as well. And, mm -hmm. um, so we've been in contact with each other. And this is somebody that you worked very closely with who was helping develop you and help you. What are your, your memories of him and how big is this loss? Yeah, I mean, he meant a lot to me. And just not just as a coach, he was a mentor to me and a mm -hmm. lot of the guys, you know. He gave advice almost like a dad to me and to the other guys. So it meant a lot. Just him be being around, you know, bringing that kind of joy to mm -hmm. us as a team and that light and his smile was just amazing. To have You're around. very brave to, to be able to talk about that after such a recent loss. You have a really fond memory of something that he was known to do. Can you walk us through that? When we picture these big, huge belts, you think of, of you know, some wrestler, but not in this case. Tell us about your favorite memory. Yeah, so the turnover belt was a big thing on the team. So anytime. One of us got a turnover. We'd always run to him with this big smile. He'd jump like a little kid just giving <laughs> us the belt. We'd all high five each other, celebrate, take a picture with him and the belt. It was amazing. So it was a really fun memory for you yes, that you'll have for the rest of your life. Yes, How important is it, do you think, for us to be able to talk about memories like this and to keep his legacy alive? It's really important, and he would want it no different, right? I mean, mm -hmm. um, he, he showed up to practice every day with a smile. Uh, which is which is odd in the world today, right? Yeah, uh, like yeah. he didn't have a bad day, which is a little bit strange. Mm -hmm. um, but he 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 had a light-hearted attitude. Um, he um, he wanted the kids to have fun. I uh, not just with JD, but I know he had conversations with several kids mm -hmm. that if you're not having fun playing this game, something is wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and so his perspective was phenomenal. Um, and he just he kept it light. He kept it fun. Um, and you know that that's. You want to be around that. Such an important life lesson, I think, in this competitive world, right? To remember to have fun along the way. So you have some special plans for the future. Talk about what you have to for the decals on the, the helmets and some things like that yeah. to even work harder to keep his memory alive and make sure that everybody else understands the loss this means to this team. Yeah, we'll do. It, you know, it's fairly common when, mm -hmm. when a team experiences a tragedy like this. Um, we'll, we'll do helmet decals. and mm -hmm. So the guys will be able to test your helmet and just, you know, think about him, you know, when they go out on the field and um, I know JD and some of the defensive backs are, are doing some shirts uh, mm -hmm. as well. Um, we just got our playoff shirts made before this happened. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we'd have done it, something a little bit different there. Right. But, um, He'd want us to go play and have fun. That, that's what he'd want. That, that's what he would want, and you can remember that forever. Thank you for coming in during Sweet. a tough time to talk, and I, I wish your team the very best as you work through the tragedy. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, you're a very strong young man.